Hey there. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the book I just published, Gunk Holing in the Salish Sea. Uh, it's a short book. Uh, it's got six chapters, and it's of my favorite places in the San Juan Islands. Uh, it's a little different than other field guides that uh, you might have seen in the Salish, or about the San Juan Islands. Uh, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Salish Sea, uh, that encompasses the San Juan Islands as well as portions of the Inside Passage. It's a relatively new term. Uh, but uh, those of you who are uh, sailors and boaters uh, may have come across uh, Gunk Holing in the San Juan Islands. So it's kind of a play off of that name. It's a, it's a real classic book uh, that uh, is out of print now. Um, and so in that spirit, what a gunk hole is, is it's a, it's a place with typically really good anchorage and soft mud, uh, uh, hence the term gunk, and uh, and it's sort of an, an off the off the beaten path. Uh, Wikipedia has a really good summary of, of the term. So what I tried to do in this book was really look at the the off the beaten path areas. I didn't cover any of the the really touristy areas in the San Juan Islands. These are areas that uh, most people I know have never heard of. Uh, and uh, so it's it's pretty new information. Um, so the there's six chapters, and the first page uh, has a uh, NOAA navigation map um, right in the front, uh, a close up of the location, and that's typically what I want when I get there. So that's why I put it in there. Um, and then there's also uh, right after that there's tips on how to approach it with the boat, and where to drop your anchor, and and how to set your anchor properly for that location. Uh, and then finally, it talks about a little bit more about the area. Once assuming you're you're properly anchored and you've gotten there, okay. Uh, there's tips for sea kayakers, and uh, every chapter has a recipe for a wild food uh, that you can find there. And it keeps the limited boat galley in mind, so it uses a small number of ingredients and uh, and minimal cooking requirements. Uh, and uh, and the wild food that it features features can be found in that location. So if you're a foodie or a forager, uh, hopefully that'll, that'll inspire you. And if you're not a boater, but you are a forager, these recipes are, are, are used common foods that can be found throughout the Northwest. So uh, this summer, uh, as I've talked about on the blog, my wife and I are setting out in May uh, on the rock and row. And I'd like to write two, or uh, one, and maybe two more of these this summer, but I'd like your feedback on on this book uh, and what I should do in the future. Uh, I, should I make it bigger? Should I write... Uh, I, I try to stay around 50 pages uh, and I could do several of them uh, that are 5 to 10 locations, stay around 50 pages, or I could do a bigger, more comprehensive book. Um, I also would like your feedback on uh, where should we go in the Puget Sound. Uh, my ideal thought is focusing on the San Juan Islands, but there's lots of field guides on the San Juan Islands. Uh, there's also uh, south near uh, Olympia. There's the Hood Canal over on the western side. There's uh, Saratoga Passage between Whidbey and Camano Islands that I don't think has been covered very well. So please leave a comment on this page and let me know where you would like to see more in-depth. Uh, and unlike other field guides, I really tried to focus deeper on the location as opposed to trying to hit several locations. Uh, that's why I talk about the diving and the fishing and the hunting and the foraging and the hiking. Uh, you know, I really want you to be equipped to have a good weekend at that location uh, before you set out. I want you to know have as much information as you can. So please let me know if that is a good tactic to use um, or if uh, less depth and more breadth, more locations uh, would be better. Uh, so yeah, uh, please check out the book. Uh, all of the money that I make off of it is going to go for our uh, expedition this uh, summer. So it's a great way to support the site and, uh, and to encourage me to write more books like this one. Uh, thanks.